After days of absence, we have finally found the SMP's Ian Blackford. Yes, Blackford has been spotted in the wild and he's come out to claim that there is no SMP crisis. Where was Ian Blackford? We finally found him, guys, and I think he was probably in a long, long sleep because uh, he's, uh, he doesn't know what is going on. He's, he was interviewed by uh, Times Radio, and he's basically claiming, I don't know what you're talking about, everything is absolutely fine in the SNP land, and the books are balanced, the membership's going up, the revenue is going up. I don't even know what's happening. I, I was just taking a nap, and the nap took about two weeks. <laughs> So the first time Ian Blackford's come out of his hole, he decided to go do an interview and he messed up a very simple live interview with Time, uh, Times Radio. So look at this. This is the most brilliant thing I've seen. Let's go to this interview uh, that Callum from uh, yeah, Times Radio. Callum's been very good, by the way. He's the one who's been breaking a lot of stories for us. Uh, this is the interview. There is no issue in terms of the party being able to do this. And there is absolutely no issue in terms of the party's finances being in difficulty. There. Colin Beesey, the SNP treasurer, told the NEC that the party was having difficulty in balancing the books <laughs> due to the reduction in membership and donors and that this potential by-election, Rutherglen and Hamilton West, is going to put the party under pressure. And, and, and no, it won't, because what happened... That's the treasurer. In... That's the treasurer that's saying that, oh. Ian. No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything's fine. Have you, oh, seen, have you I... seen the books? Oh. Um, look, what I have done is I've had a number of conversations with senior officials over the course of the last few days. But let me see... Because that, that that's not the same thing. You've asked a question specifically about mm. the by-election, because how it works in oh, the no, SNP... Sorry, I haven't really asked about the by-election. What I've said <laughs> well, is know, that the SNP treasurer says that he is having difficulty balancing the SNP's books, and, and you're kind of refusing to accept that, is my understanding. Yeah, literally. Callum, it might help if you let me answer the question. Uh, you didn't. You were talking about by-election. Because I'll give you the, the answer, which will actually, I think, allay any concerns over this, because the way that the SNP conduct itself around a by-election is there's a levy which is put on branches, not coming out of the central funds, it's paid by the branches that make a contribution to make sure that we've got the funds in place to fight any by-election and fight any by-election to win. Yeah, the, the money for the branches come from the central budget initially anyway. There is no issue in terms of the party being able to do this, and there is absolutely no issue in terms of the party's finances being in difficulty, they're in balance. Uh, we still have a healthy level of membership, a healthy level of donations, uh, and we'll make sure that the party is funded to the extent that it can meet all its obligations. Okay. The only explanation is that he's drunk. That's the only reason he's saying this. I'm just, uh, sorry, uh, sorry for the confusion. I'm just confused by the treasurer saying there's difficulty balancing the books and you saying there's no problem at all. I'm, I'm just trying to understand what the, where the transparency so what, is what, here. What the treasurer said to the National Executive Committee yesterday is that the SNP's finances are in balance. What? Okay. The quote I have is having difficulty balancing the books. Well, One of you is lying. Well, I, I, you weren't at the meeting, Callum, and sure. I think what we got is a, a selective reporting of what happened yesterday. Um, having spoken to officials last night, having had a readout of what happened, oh. what I'm saying to you is that the party's accounts are in balance. OK, that's very helpful then. Thank you for the clarity. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Let's go back to the reality as a political party that we have to publish our accounts on an annual basis to lodge with the Electoral Commission. These are audited accounts. Uh, they've been published every year over the course of the last 20-odd year period that that has been the mechanism. Um, there is no concern in terms of the... SNB been able to function. We've got, my goodness, we've fought election after election over the course of the last few years as the normal course of events. Of course, we approach donors, uh, members give donations, parliamentarians make a contribution. Yeah. Um, I, I understand there's obviously a bit of a, a bit of excitement around all of this, but I think one of the things that the First Minister made clear in that <laughs> clip that's been leaked from wherever is, of course, that the SNP's finances are absolutely robust. I love how he said, well, yeah, yeah, thread, yes, we were functioning quite healthily. We actually uh, took a lot of money from donors and members. Yeah, that was the issue. What did you do with the money? Uh, we can meet our obligations, and that's a situation that I fully expect to be maintained over the course of the short, medium and longer term. So you accept that Nicola Sturgeon, when she was uh, First Minister and leader of the SNP, knew about the condition and the status of the party's finances? Yeah. No, I <laughs> won't be aware of the conversations that the First Minister would be having with the National Treasurer and Headquarters staff, but I would expect oh. the, the First Minister um, to be fully updated on an ongoing basis as a leader of the party as to the, the financial circumstances. I don't know, there, is, there is no story here. 
That is no story. You've seen that meme where the guy says, everything's fine. And there's literally a building collapsing behind him. It's like fire and everything. Like, yeah, hey, everything's fine. The dog with the, with the cup of tea. She's offering reassurance here, Ian. That's the point. So she's offering reassurance on the party's finances, which suggests she knew the details of the party's finances. And my point is that any defence to the contrary is now non-existent. She knew the ins and outs of the party finances. Of course she did. Alan, anybody that's in a position of leadership, whether you're talking about a political party, whether you're talking about a business, uh -oh. uh, has people that report into them. In this case, there's a treasurer of the party. Uh, there are financial <laughs> staff that have responsibility for all of that. Oh. And you would expect in any organisation that any leader will be updated on the key elements. There'll be financial reports that would be given. The SNP is no different in that regard from any other organisation. Thank you. So Did you see what happened? He basically said, when Callum asked him, so she was party leader, so surely she was involved and she would know about the financial affairs of the party. And in Blackford, the, 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 the normal answer would be, yes, political leaders are involved. He did technically say yes, but he said, yeah, as a, as a political leader, um, what, yeah, what happens is that you rely on other people to report it to you, including the treasurer. So he's still trying to defend and keep Nicola Sturgeon safe, even if he has to throw the party treasurer under the bus. That is basically what's happening right now. That's a translation of the, the last answer that you had from this clown that is Ian Blackford. Lovely man, by the way. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.